everything was a challenge. We are deeply connected with nature. I didn't ask to traumatize me. Why I felt guilty or ashamed. I didn't have place, like nothing, I was alone. We have very deep emotions towards climate crisis. My motivation was very simple. I wanted to share the knowledge I had. I was studying psychology and I understood that we have very deep emotions towards climate crisis. Before, I didn't understand myself, why I felt guilty or ashamed and why I always felt like not doing enough. And still, I was not motivated uh, to do more because I was frustrated, I felt uncomfortable. And I was reading a book, Environmental Melancholy, where I found out that I was not lonely, that my emotions and feelings were pretty common, and that all people feeling guilty and ashamed are not motivated to act. Actually, they're moving towards apathy. So uh, that's uh, helped me a lot uh, with coping with my own feelings and I was writing a diploma on the topic of using transactional analysis tools to communicate sustainability. And the more I read, the more I watched movies, the more I made my own research on this topic, the more I understood that we should not communicate sustainability the way I see it uh, more frequently. I've noticed that after watching movies and reading books about climate change, I felt frustrated, I felt useless, I felt helpless, sometimes angry, because uh, during the movie, for example, I had those strong feelings that were traumatic. For me and I didn't ask to traumatize me so it was made without my permission I didn't feel that I wanted to act more uh, and actually I felt more motivated to act before watching some movie or before reading a book and the main aim of the book when we read is to help us in our climate activism or to help us to raise awareness. But raising awareness sometimes leads to frustration and it does not lead uh, to acting. So uh, understanding this helped me a lot and that's why I decided to share those ideas in my YouTube channel. The main goal of uh, making this uh, YouTube channel, I even could say a mission, uh, was to help people to build inner resilience uh, in the midst of climate crisis or any other crisis they have. The second direction of my work uh, was it could be in training for companies. Uh, it's four module training where I help companies to achieve their sustainability goals. And I also start with speaking about feelings, values, and we continue with connecting the goals of the company with uh, the values and feelings of their employees, uh, which is, to my mind, more productive than pushing employees towards sustainability. Uh, it's pretty simple. We are all human beings, that's for sure. But I also think that we are eco-beings, in the meaning that we are deeply connected with nature and we just need maybe to refresh this connection or to find it inside and actually it gives a lot of support when we start living uh, in harmony with nature and with each other so that's the main uh, idea behind this name and behind the project uh, itself i i was studying out everything was a challenge just everything Mm, I didn't have uh, a camera, I didn't have uh, lighting, I didn't have place, like nothing. I was alone. I had a lot of content ideas, I have a lot of information and knowledge, um, but uh, I didn't have any experience uh, of how to film videos or set the stage or, <laughs> I don't know, like editing, nothing. 
um, I called uh, a professional. Uh, he came to me with uh, everything needed. For several hours, we were moving furniture, plants, and lightning and everything. And after uh, the job was done, uh, he left and I understood that I didn't like it at all. I was kind of frustrated because he was a professional. I wasn't a professional, but I was an interior designer. And I decided to trust myself and to change the stage the way I want it to be. So, <laughs> and it taken two weeks. So my first um, expectation was that uh, I would need uh, like two hours, not two weeks. And like the same was with everything. I found music and some videos and I've created a design uh, for this, the whole project, uh, but it didn't work together. I think everything changed when I met uh, an editor and graphic designer who works with me now. I want to say thank you for your support, for your subscriptions, for your suggestions during the year. I could say they really helped me to go through, um, through the challenges that I had. And now I'm ready to invite you to my Discord channel where we can communicate directly with you. There you will have an opportunity to work on your inner resilience or to work towards sustainable activism. Subscribe and see you there.